It's a rainy, cold summer's day today in Gippsland and a common misconception that it's always hot and sunny here in Australia. I thought I'd take this as an opportunity to capture some of my harvest and preserve it. With the La Nina we are currently experiencing, this causing the rhubarb to put on so much new growth. I decided to harvest some today. It's better to pull your stems rather than to cut them. By doing this, it separates from the bottom of the plant near the roots. This tells the plant to regrow a new stalk in its place and I find my rhubarb responds really well to this method and always looks flush and full. There is nothing quite like a refreshing drink on the warm days we will soon be experiencing. So I am making my family fizzy rhubarb champagne. It is mildly alcoholic for those of you wishing to abstain. First you need to wash your rhubarb and then cut it into small chunks. I'm using about three and a half cups of rhubarb. I'll be placing this into a large jar, making sure that it is very clean as you do not want any foreign bacteria to enter your ferment. To this I'll be adding three and a half cups of raw sugar, juice from two lemons, two hundred and fifty mils of a good quality raw apple cider vinegar. and four liters of water. I need to leave this to ferment for three days where I will then decant it into bottles and allow it to ferment for a further three weeks. It should be lovely and fizzy by that time and I'll serve it icy cold. I also had several cabbages ready to harvest. I've been wanting to make sauerkraut to enjoy throughout the winter months. First, I'm going to remove the outer leaves of my cabbage, saving these for later, and giving it a good rinse.
I need to slice it finely, but first I need to cut out the fibrous core. Once all of the cabbage is finely sliced, I'll massage in the salt for five minutes. I will then let it rest for five minutes, allowing the salt to draw out some of those juices, and then massage it for another five minutes. I'm placing this mixture into my wide mouth mason jars. They hold about one and a half litres. I need to give it a bit of headroom so it doesn't overflow. I've made this mistake before. But making sure the brine covers the cabbage. I'm going to put in one of the outer leaves to help keep the shredded cabbage below the brine. On goes the pickle pipe and I'll leave it in a dark place for about two to six weeks and then transfer it to my fridge. The longer you leave it to ferment, the more intense in flavour it will become. Preserving my harvest like this fulfills one of the permaculture principles of capturing and storing your energy. My energy here today is my harvest. So much time has gone into my garden and growing all this wonderful food for my family. But even though I can grow throughout the winter months, sometimes the volume isn't there. So making sure that our pantry is fully stocked means that our family can enjoy all this beautiful, organic, homegrown food through the cooler months. <laughs>